The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read Salah ed Din, 1345. The column was devoted exclusively to rumor, gossip, and sensationalism. The big story was about the brutal murder of a French media magnet, shot down in cold blood. The guy oozed confidence, like a regular French statesman. Hold it, or right there. Oh, don't shoot. I'm innocent. I'm an American. Can't make up your mind, huh? I demand to see the American consul. Drop your weapons and get down on the ground. Put that thing away, Sergeant Mu. I apologize, monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Ah, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant, to the cafe, marche. What a mess. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, monsieur. Has it occurred to you that he may be dead, Mou? Oui, monsieur. But I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. Examine the girl and take her statement, if you can. Et maintenant, to business. Your name, please? George Stobart. I'm from California. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year, no? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Yes, I did. Was he alone? Uh, yeah. And did he say anything to you? No. He was more interested in the waitress. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? Yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Bon. The picture is forming in my mind, and it is not a pretty one. Is the girl all right, Mu? She'll live if she survives the hangover. She doesn't remember seeing a clown, monsieur. That's odd, don't you think, monsieur? Who am I to believe, I wonder? Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. You may leave. I hope this little incident does not spoil the rest of your vacation. What about my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. And don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great advice. I honestly believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me. My card. Thanks. That is all. You may go. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. But what lurks inside the subconscious? If the door can only be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic.
Excuse me, mademoiselle? Hi. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of it. Yep, that's right. On vacation in Paris. <laughs> Some vacation, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Sat right out in front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with a hat and overcoat? I couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah, he went inside just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh, no, nothing like that. I'm Nicole Collard from La Liberté. Uh, what is that, uh, some kind of nightclub? Oh, no, it's a newspaper. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you could interview me about the bombing. An eyewitness account. Minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. You know, real-life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it sounds crazy, but he was dressed like a clown. A clown? It's him again. Have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. I don't. Who was the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Plantar. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Well, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. How did Plantard get your name? Through the newspaper, La Liberté. I'd written an article linking two unsolved murders, one in Italy, the other in Japan. The cases were remarkably similar. A wealthy victim, no apparent motive and a costume killer. Plantard said he could supply me with more information. Somehow the clown must have known about our appointment. Do you know a police officer called Rosso? Rosso? Our paths have a knack of crossing. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was deliberate. Have you seen Rosso? Is he here? And he's inside, attempting to question a witness with his psychic powers. That guy is weird. Yeah. Look. The inspector gave me his card. I didn't know his first name was Augustin. It suits him, I must say. I found this newspaper outside the cafe. That is not a newspaper, it's a gossip rag. It may have belonged to Plantar. So? He had a taste for sensationalist smut with right-wing bias. That doesn't tell us much. There's something written in it. Salah Eddin, 1345. It sounds like a betting tip. The name of the horse and the time of the race. What do you think? I don't think it is. That's too obvious. I wouldn't mind betting. This is a coded message. It's a romantic notion, but I don't think so. Why won't you tell me about the clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. You help me with my story and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, uh, it's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. I'll be on soon with you. Uh, fine, uh, I'll see you soon.
It was a battered metal toolbox. Hey, you! I thought you'd been arrested! No, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, gah, I thought that was it. Those automatics were quite a bunch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, I guess. Did you see an old guy with a briefcase? Wait, silly old coot. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he says. I could watch it all day. Care did. I could have knocked this block off. Did you recognize the old man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. His name was Plantar. Was? He's dead then? Yeah. That's too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could turn back the clock. If only I'd been more tolerant. Regret and remorse are strange emotions. They really bring out the hammiest actors in people. Did you see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Oh, those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. Look, I know you're busy, but surely you'd have noticed a clown. I told you already. I didn't see a thing. He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. He'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. Listen. I have to find that clown. He's a killer. Say, who are you anyhow? A cop? No, of course not. I mean, do I look like a cop? No, but you act like one, sticking your nose in where it's not wanted. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Didn't you hear the explosion? The cafe was blown up. I wondered what that bang was. Any bodies? Yeah. An old man was killed. Merd. I didn't think it was that serious. What about the waitress? Oh, she's fine. Thank the saints. Would you like to read my newspaper? I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You could read it on your lunch break. Ten minutes is all I get. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. He'd have me on a drip. So I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, take the newspaper and quit complaining. Bah! Look at these damn bleeding out liberals. Cha! Save the dolphins. Catch them and eat them, I say. All that fuss over a bunch of fish. Nah, that's more like it. Look at the size of those. Like champagne bottle corks, no? Ah, what's this? Saladin running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. It's a racehorse? A horse? A legend. Bucephalus reborn, mon ami. Like a streak of lightning she is. Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm off to put some money on that nag. What about your toolbox? Stuff it. Help yourself. It was a battered metal. I found a T-shaped tool in the box. I didn't know what it was, but it looked useful. It was a huge and weighty looking engineer's telephone. Hello, Nico Kula. Hello, it's George. Oh, hi. Well, I haven't had a lot of luck. You found nothing? Uh, no. 
Look, I'm very busy right now. Call me if you have any news, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Adieu, monsieur. See you. Set into the huge gate was a smaller access door. The door was securely locked. The clown had fled into this alley, but there was no sign of him now. I was intrigued by Nico and what she could tell me about the explosion. The drain pipe looked as if it would bear my weight. I took a deep breath and prepared to climb the drain pipe. I guess the clown hadn't escaped over the rooftops. The drain pipe hung limp and useless. I decided I'd had enough of messing with that drain pipe. It was a battered old trash can. It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. It was a battered old trap. It was a plastic crate. There was nothing of interest. It was an iron cover concealing the entrance to a drain or sewer. Ugh. The cover was too heavy and awkward to lift with my bare hands. I lifted the cover to reveal what smelt like the entrance to a sewer. As I picked up the plastic ball, I realized it was intended to be worn. It was the clown's red nose. The nose was hollow. Printed on the inside were the words, La Rizée du Monde, Paris. It was a bright red plastic nose, part of a clown's costume.